Hello, my name is Dave Martin, and this is lesson number three in the Creo Parametric for Absolute Beginners series. And this lesson covers selecting objects. First off, as mentioned in the previous video, in the lower right hand corner, you have a selection filter. And the selection filter by default is set to smart. And in a part, that means when you hover your mouse over different objects, features in the part are going to highlight. If I go over to an assembly and hover my mouse over different objects, a part is going to highlight. From the selection filter though, you can change that. For example, if you wanted to make sure that you were only capable of selecting geometry like surfaces, edges, or vertices, you can use that filter. From the datums control that only allows you to select datum features like datum planes, datum curves, datum points, datum coordinate systems, and datum axes. Let's go back to the part window. And now I'm going to select different objects. And when you want to select an object, you position your mouse over the feature and then click on it with the left mouse button. And you'll notice when I selected that feature, it also highlighted in the model tree. The model tree is a list of the features in the part in the order in which they are regenerated. And you can also use the selection, excuse me, the model tree to select different objects. If you want to select multiple objects, you're going to hold down the control key. So now I'm holding down control and I can select other additional features in the model. And when you're holding down control, you can select additional objects from the model tree as well. If you have selected an object and you want to deselect one of those objects, hold down the control key and click it again, either in the graphics area or the model tree. If you want to deselect everything quickly and easily, just click on the background of the graphics area off of the model. If you want to pick an inclusive list in the model tree, you're going to use the shift key. For example, I can select this chamfer, hold down the shift key, and select the chamfer above it, and it selects everything in between. And if I decide that I want to deselect one of the objects, hold down the control key, click on it, and it's no longer selected. Besides picking from using the model tree or with left mouse click, sometimes you're trying to pick something, there'll be multiple objects in the same area. And so if you position your mouse over the model and then tap with the right mouse button, it'll select the next object underneath the mouse at that location. That's what's known as query select. Again, it's just tapping with the right mouse button until the correct object is highlighted and then you left click in order to select it. I'm going to go to the assembly to show you the same thing. So again, if I position my mouse as such, there are multiple objects underneath my mouse at this location. And if I tap through with my right mouse button, it'll select the next object underneath the mouse at that location. When I have the right one selected, I left click with the mouse and it ends up being selected and there you can see it being selected in the model tree as well let me deselect everything another way that you can select is by positioning your mouse over the model and then hold down the right mouse button and in the pop-up menu you have pick from list and this will open up a dialog box That'll list everything that was underneath your mouse at that location. And there are up and down arrows that you could use to cycle through here. Try that again. Pick from list. In this case, I got more objects this time. Uh, you can use the up and down keys on the keyboard in order to step through the different objects in the list. And when the correct one is selected, you click okay and there we have that particular part selected let's go back over to 
the part window because another thing I want to mention is that there are two different workflows in Creo Parametric and one is called Action Object, the other is called Object Action. So for example, let's say that I want to create a sketch in my model. You can click on the sketch command and then it opens up a dialog box that allows you to select what surface that you want to sketch on. So when you select the command first and then pick something in your model, that's called action object. But similarly, you can select something first and then execute the command. And so I can select this feature and then subsequent picks with my left mouse button will allow me to select geometry in that feature such as this surface. And then with my geometry selected, then I can click the sketch command and that takes me into what is called sketch mode for designing a 2D cross section. I'm going to hit the cancel button to get out of sketch mode. The other reason I want to mention action object and object action is that you'll notice that some commands are grayed out, particularly editing commands and commands for copying and pasting. So these commands that are grayed out are what are known as object action commands only. In other words, you have to select something first before those commands will become available. So again, with the selection filter set to smart, the first pick with the left mouse button will select a feature. Subsequent picks will select geometry in the model. I can hold down the control key to select both of those surfaces. And now you'll notice that some of the commands in the editing group and also the copy command are now available to me. So again, be aware that some commands require you to select objects first. Lastly, I want to mention there are some advanced selection methods. As a beginner, you're probably not going to need them, but it's something that you should be aware of. And these advanced selection methods allow you to construct edge chains and surface sets. So again, with the selection filter set to smart, first pick with the left mouse button will allow me to select a feature. Subsequent picks with the left mouse button allow me to select geometry like a surface. So right now I have one surface selected. If I have that surface selected and then hold down the shift key, and pick a couple of other surfaces in the model, Creo Parametric will select all the surfaces from the original surface out to the second surfaces that I selected while holding down the shift key. That is called the seed and boundary method, and it's a very quick way of selecting a lot of surfaces quickly and easily, because if I wanted to select all these surfaces for those cuts, I would be picking all day. So just be aware that there are these advanced selection methods. If you go to the ptc.com website, you can download a quick reference card. And this is very handy for new users. And particularly if I go to page number 11 on here, it shows you the different ways of constructing those edge chains and surface sets using the shift key for those advanced selection methods. This concludes lesson number three. I hope you enjoyed this video.